guys, welcome to my vlog. Welcome to my vlog Andito po tayo sa Lintuan, Loon, Bohol Tingnan nyo po ang aming dagat Ang baba ng level ng tubig Pumunta ako dito para mag para gumawa ng vlog para sa aming project at doon tayo pupunta sa so may maraming mangroves o bakawan yun yung dagat dahil sa linog nagtagin ito tayo Marami pa namang ma kinabangan dito. Ang layo-layo pa dun. Dun pa. Sa may basta ko. May magandang babae dito. Miss Yubi. Oh. Tignan mo. Malapit na tayo. Malapit na tayo. Nandito tayo sa may Cheetos Place. Kung gusto nyong maligo, punta kayo rito sa Baslakbo. Ganda dito. Sabang mapunta tayo sa may Bakawan Malapit na tayo Snack muna tayo Nang nilubid A few minutes later oh, Nandito na tayo May aso na Nandito na tayo sa mangroves o bakawan tayo ng magandang dito nung bata pa kami dito kami nag nunguha ng nunguha sihi dito na tayo based on my research ang mangroves o bakawan ay nakatulong sa ating Mother Earth, hindi lang sa Mother Earth, pati sa mga taong nanirahan dito sa tabing dagat. Kasi ito ay nagpo-protect kapag may malakas na mga alon, hangin, at it can produce carbon dioxide. Alam niyo ba, sabi nila, ang mangroves is protect shorelines from erosion. Mangroves protect shoreland from damaging storm and hurricane winds, waves, and floods. Mangroves also help prevent erosion by stabilizing sediments with their tangled root system. They maintain water quality and clarity, filtering pollutants and sediments originating from plants. Mangroves referred to as coastal woodland, tidal forest, and mangrove forest. By ecologists and plant formation common to tropical and subtropical littoral shorelines, mangrove swamps as open ecosystem 
find their waterways linking the terrestrial ecosystem with the marine ecosystem. Mangrove swamps, also called mangals, are a common feature covering 60 to 75 feet of tropical and subtropical coastlines. These forests of trees and shrubs that are rooted in soft sediments occur in the intertidal zone. The mangrove ecosystem as a life supporting system plays a role in nutrient cycling. Leaf filter, leaf litter and detrimental matter are nutrients for aquatic estuarine and coastal shore fishes, crustaceans and plants growing in the littoral reef and swallower pelagic zone. Thus it was noted as the most productive area of the coastal environment. Thanks for watching! Thank you po sa lahat na nanonood. Yun lang po ang masasabi ko kasi yun lang po ang nalalaman ko.